Good Wednesday morning. Glad to be with you today. And we're in, still in Luke chapter 14. And one of the most interesting parables that Jesus ever gave is the parable of the invitation uh, to dinner. And he said a certain man was giving a big dinner. And he invited many in the dinner hour. He sent his slave to those who'd been invited. He said, come, for everything is now ready. But they began to make excuses. Now listen to this. One said, he said, I bought a piece of land and I need to go look at it. You need to go look at land at dinner at night? Another said, uh, you know, he said, let me be excused. Another said, I bought five yoke of oxen and I, I need to try them out. Really? You're going to try oxen out uh, at dinner time? Nobody does that, right? Another said, I married a wife and that reason for that reason I can't go. Well, the wife was invited too. They didn't want to come. That was it. And then Jesus says those famous words. He said the master of the house had gone to the highways and hedges. And he does. And he said, compel them to come in. And uh, they did. The servant did. And he said, you know, there's still room at the table. Well, a parable generally means one thing. But this has multifacets to it. And I don't want to go into all of them. But uh, I think the one thing we learn from here is that not everybody who's invited to the kingdom of God uh, will be in the kingdom of God, will be in heaven with us. It might be surprising who is going to find God's grace, uh, who's going to put their faith and trust in the Lord. It might be surprising. It probably won't be the people that we most expect, and I'm sure it's not going to be the people who had the best chance of getting there. Jesus is making a very stern statement here. It's not the favored and it's not the first invited. Many people are invited to the kingdom of God. Everybody's invited to the kingdom of God, but most people will make an excuse. You know what excuse is? An excuse is, I don't want to come. That's what it is. An excuse is to God, I don't believe in what you're doing. I don't understand it. I'd like to live my own life. Uh, you know, I, I, I've, got, uh, I've got a piece of land. My wealth is more important. Uh, what makes me wealth is more important. My family is more important than you. And I don't want to sit down at the table with you, Lord. And so many people respond to that in a positive way. They say, yes, I can't believe that I'm invited. And when we find God's grace, it's exactly like that. So I think we need to remember that, that it's characteristic of our culture, isn't it? To say yes to something and then not show up. But heaven is not going to be overcrowded and it's going to be populated by people that we might not expect to be there. Our task is to include everybody, to witness to everybody, and to invite everybody. And God's re reaction is not kind to anybody who refuses Him. They take it on themselves and when they do that. There's room. And we can target people if we want to, but God said go into the world and make disciples. Let's make sure we invite as many people as we can, whether we know them or not, whether they're our kind or not, whether they look like us, whether they have our kind of standard of living or not, or even our viewpoint. Let's invite as many people as we can into the kingdom of God. We'll be surprised at those who say no and those who say yes. Heavenly Father, thank you for the great opportunity of being great commissioned Christians and put in our path and put us in the path of people that we can invite to the kingdom today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow.